Okay, here's our video today on logarithms. And they sound complicated, but they're not as complicated as they sound. In fact, they're not that difficult at all. So let's get our pen going. The word itself, if you're looking at the word, is two Greek words in here. So the one is right over here. Why not? Logos. And logos just means like a reason in Greek. Reason or plan. Or, you know, some people just say ratio, right? And arithmos, the other part right here, arithmos. Arithmos just means number, right? We get arithmetic out of that. So that's just basically if, uh, if you were interested in how we got logarithms. Now, logarithms are really the opposite of exponents. They're related to exponents. So let's get a clear page. All right, and let's stick with, uh, let's, let's go to purple. Why not? So if I said, for example, 5 squared, well, we know 5 squared is 25. And why is that? Because 5 times 5 is 25. So we're multiplying the number twice because the index, the power, the exponent tells us so. So that's how um, logarithms are related. Because with logarithms, we may, we may not know the power. For example, 5x equals 25. So here we don't know the power. And we can guess because we just did the problem. So we're saying here x is 2. That means saying the power is 2. So these, this right here is logarithms. Simple like that. So I'm saying when you're seeing something this, you're saying how many fives, how many fives multiplied together, and then you know this, how many fives multiplied together make 25? And this one was easy. We can see that 5 squared is 25 because we just did it over here. So these are the exponents. And over here is the logarithm. So let's get, let's do another one. Let's clear this out. Go back if you need to. We'll clear the screen. We'll change the color. Why don't, why don't we use green? So if I said 2x equals 8. So now you know this is a logarithm. And you can just guess the answer here. You probably know that x is 3. And we know because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And we know 2 to the third power is 8. So we got our answer x equals 3. And so what we're saying here is the, is the logarithm. It's another answer for you. The logarithm is 3. That's how you would answer that question. And it can be written like this. So... You would write it like this. If you ever see log 2, and then you see this 8, that's how it's written. But in index form, we'll put an arrow, in index form, it'll be written. So this right here, change the color, that's the base. So here's the base. This is the answer that we're trying to get right here. That's the logarithm, or that'll be the power. So this can be written like this, 2 to the third power is 8. Or 2 to some power is 8. And we know, we said before, that the logarithm, or the answer for x, is 3. All right, let's do another one. And by the way, with logs, on your calculator, you'll see the, the word, you'll see the button log. And it's a base 10 log, which I'll go over in a minute. It's a base 10 log. All right, let's 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 go back to red, and let me keep that up there. I'll make a box around this, and then I'll put a question over here for you. If you saw log 5, this little subscript 5, and in parentheses 125, how would you put that in index form? How would you put that in the index form? So we'll call this index form. What do you think? Well, remember that 5, that subscript 5 right here in this arrow, that is the base. So it's going to have a 5, and we have to put an x because we don't know the power, and it'll equal 125. And here again, these are pretty easy ones that you can guess. We know that the logarithm, right this here, what do you think the logarithm is? The logarithm is 3. 
It's three again, because we know five to the third power, five cubed is 125. Five times five times five is 125. So we did it in index form right over here. Let's change the color again. Now, what if you didn't know? Let's use that color. What if you didn't know? You know, you couldn't guess the index. Like over here, we had 5x equals 125. And we know it's 3. We know the logarithm is 3. But what, what if we didn't know? We had to find out. Of course, you can put this on your calculator. Now, what you can do here is you bring the x down. And you're going to make everything else a log. It's going to be log 5 equals log 125. And the reason why you have to put log is because, remember, I told you before that the log button on the calculator is base 10. It's a base 10 log. So what you'll do is you want to find what x is. You just do a little algebra here. You divide log 5 on both sides, just like you would do with an, you know, an algebraic equation. And now x, and now on your calculator, you're going to put log 25 divided by log 5. And, of course, your answer will be 3. So that way you can put on the calculator. All right. I'm going to clear that out in a minute. If you want to rewind, you can rewind the tape, right? So what if we have a hard one again? So let's say we had, you had this. You had log subscript 3 there, and then you had 18.7. How would you write that in index form, first of all? So again, you have it, right? There's the base. We don't know what it is. This is the power. And it equals 18.7. So this one is not too easy, right? Because, well, we know that 3 cubed is 27 and 3 squared is 9. So it's in between that somehow. But again, we can do it this way. We bring the x down, make that log 3 equals log 18.7. And of course, you don't have to write this whole thing out. You probably figured out right now. All you have to do is this log 18.7 divided by log 3, or whatever that base would be. Just doing a little algebra here. And when you plug that in, you're going to get about, you're going to get a long number, but you get about it, but approximately 2 point, I'll round it, 2.67. So that's using on your calculator. Now, I did mention base 10. So I'll, I'll use blue now over here, base 10. So base 10 is this, you know, the, the base is 10. That's what we mean by base 10. So if when you see base 10, let's say, what would you save for this? This, of course, in index form will be 10 is the base x equals 80. And if you did the whole thing, if you did the algebra, you would find that x is about 1.9. Now, for base 10, sometimes it's just, if you ever see this, if you ever see log, let's say log 100, or 1,000, whatever the case may be. If you don't see a subscript, they're just you're just assuming it's base 10. It's always base 10 if you don't see it. If you don't see a subscript, it's base 10. So in this case, this answer in index form will be 10 to some number equals 1,000. So on your calculator, you'll see the log button, and it will be base 10. All right, clear this out. Now, what if you didn't know the base? Change the color to purple. What if you had x to the third power equals 8? Well, this one you know, right? Because we know x is 2. 2 cubed is 8. So how would you write this? Well, this, if you wanted to change it from index form to log form, right? So this would be log x 8 equals 3. Now, if you wanted to find out what it, the answer is, change it to green, we know it's already 2. But if we didn't know, we would say x3 equals 8. Well, what we can do is just cube the answer. And the cube root of 8 is 2. 
And you see how it's related to exponents because 2 cubed is 8. In the same sense, if you saw this, you don't know the base. We can change it. This will be log what? Log 4, 16. And we want it to equal what? What is the answer going to be? Log 4, 16. We're trying to find out what the base is. Actually, log x. A little mistake there. Log x. We don't know. And we want it to equal 4. So always double check your work there. Why is it log x again? Because we don't have the base. Remember, the base is always here. That's the base. So again, we can say, what is the fourth root of 16? And we'll get 2. And you can do that in your calculator if you didn't know. All right, let me clear that out. Remember, always double check your work. So a person is going to come up, this person, and I'll spell it first. His name is Euler. It's not spelled Euler, though. It sounds like Euler. Some people do say Euler, but it's actually pronounced Euler. And Euler's number is the letter E. It's this letter E. It's the natural number. Natural log. Natural log. And it's used, it's used for special situations, especially with growth and decay. And we'll do a video on growth and decay, and we'll use that log, you know, the natural log. And the natural log button you'll see on your calculator has that LN. So we've been just using the log button, but there is a natural log button used for growth and decay, and that'll be this button right there. And by the way, the natural log E is an irrational number, so it's about 2.718, and it goes on forever because it's irrational, just like pi and phi, irrational numbers. So again, growth and decay problems, you'll see the natural log E, which is Euler's number, not Euler's number. And one more thing, we'll just clear that out. If you ever saw, it, let's say you were trying to find the base without doing the cube root or the fourth root or the fifth root, for example, let's say you you had this. We'll just go back to this for a minute. X3 equals 8. We know, we know the answer already is 2. But... And you know you can do the cube root of 8 to get that answer. But if you didn't do that, if you if your teacher wanted you to show it algebraically, you would bring the 3 down, right? This would be log x equals log 8. Now, I did tell you in the beginning of the video that the log button is a base 10. So if you do this, if you divide the 3 out on both sides, remember, don't put the log there. You're going to get a decimal answer. In order to find out what log x is, though, you have to do on the TI-84, you got to put in the, press the second button, second log, second answer button. Usually the second answer button is here. It's usually that. You see that on your calculator? I'll get a picture of that for you. Let's rewrite it for you again. So again, if you had, and get the pen ready, Again, if you had x over 3 equals 8, and you know it's 2, but you brought the 3 down, you made it log x, because we don't know what the base is, equals log 8. And we divided the 3 out, because we're trying to find out what log x is. On your calculator, you would press you know, the log button, log 8, divided by 3. But you, wouldn't, you would not get the, the answer for log x, because remember, log is base 10, but this is not a base 10. So you would have to press, again, second, log, then press second again, answer, and you'll get what log x is. Or you can just simply just do the square root, fourth root, or fifth root, whatever. In this case, it would be the cube root of the answer. All right, that's logarithms, part one.